excuse my friend here, but I don't even think we've formally been introduced. My name's Landry Clark. You know, I just wanted to say that you are absolutely right. Yeah, well, how about you two geniuses go back to your little lab and cook something else up? Hmm. Something that shows a little bit more remorse. Oh, okay. Like Here's that. a hint. Spend some money. Spend some money? Exactly. See, that's what I've been, that's what I was trying to tell you. That's the kind of thing the girls like. Okay, hey, you can go now. Tara, mm. I'm not gonna let you down. Mm. Okay. You know what, Matt? Tyra was right about about the whole mixtape thing. That was really, really lame. That was your idea. Right, but I mean, we, we both knew the risks involved with mixtapes. They're kind of an acquired taste. But actually, come to think of it, you know, I'm not really the one that uh, that cheated on Julie Taylor. I didn't cheat, on. okay? Whose side are you on? Anyway, I thought you were my friend. here, Matt. You know, Tyra and I, we're, we're just trying to, you know, explain to you that you can't just go around and Tyra just... And I. <laughs> you really think that there's any chance in hell that... That you ever even like you know have a conversation? Just, just, just stop right now before you say something that you may one day regret. Okay. Because I can tell you one thing: stranger things have happened. No, stranger that. things have you know not what? happened. I felt something with her. Now you don't, don't. I bet, I bet you felt don't something. Mess with that. Okay, man. First off, um, you gotta act like you've been to just a million strip clubs. Like, see her, like naked ladies. That's no big deal. Right? Look, Landry, I just want to get in here and then get out of here. Well, and then secondly, look them in the eyes, not in the rack. That's a huge mistake. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, hey, Tara. Sorry. How's it, how's it going? I was what? just wondering maybe I could buy you a drink. Strawberry, daiquiri. No. Hey, no. Here. How Thanks. you doing, Tara? So what happened? What, what? <clears throat> to, to your loving mother. To you know my what? loving on. mother. Who's just so loving. <laughs> you know Hold on one second. You know what, everybody? To Tara. Everybody. Thank you. To Tara. Thank you. I'm in your house right now with you and strippers. <laughs> and just God bless everyone who enters here. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning, Tara. How you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll call you later. Uh, yeah, okay. Where is she going? She's going to the library. She has some algebra final. She's going to the library? Yeah. Can you, uh, I'll let y'all talk. Whatever y'all were doing. Why are you looking at me so weird? Just curious where you're going. I'm gotta go, um. Tara. Is that you? What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just wishing I could, you know, build a time machine and go back and shoot whoever it is invented algebra. That's wow. for sure. See, that's kind of a catch-22, though, because to invent that time machine, you may need to use algebra. Yeah, you know, I already have a tutor. If that's oh, you can just tutor. yeah run okay. along. Let me ask Thanks. you one question though. Um, did did your tutor teach Tim Riggins to read in about a day and a half? No. Okay. Is your tutor the top of his calculus honors class? Okay. Did your tutor score a 77 on his PSAT math portion? No. I just really think you need the A team on this, and you got Mr. T standing right in front of you, and T stands. For Tyra's algebra tutor. <laughs> right? Seriously? I'm really good at math. <laughs> it's a date. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's a date. It's it's a it's a, it's an expression. It's it's like a colloquialism. Well, she used said that expression. What's that girl's name? Her name is Tyra. Tyra. And you know, I'm I'm really just about tired of, of being a supporting actor and about ready to be a leading man, Matt. Okay. You know, it's going to be a big night for us, so you might as well just accept that. Right. I said it's going to be a huge night. Uh, I mean, you're probably going to square a lot of numbers, maybe figure out a quadratic that's equation cute. or that's, something like that's that. That's really cute. I'm really laughing on the inside. No, it's adorable promise, what you're I know. doing. It is. You know what, Matt? I, I, I'm going to go, and I'm going to tell her how I feel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declare myself to her. Okay? And you need to just accept that. Carl, not, not too tight. Please. All right, okay. I'm gonna look all frayed when I go and see my lady. You got don't, don't do this to me right now. Tonight, you're gonna do this to me. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Thank you!
Was he not coming? Yeah, it looks that way. Drive safe out there. It's porn. Thanks. Appreciate it. Tara, I'm so sorry. My car wouldn't. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? <laughs> Wait, who? What? <laughs> school? No, I, I ditched calculus. No big deal. You ditched a class? Yeah. Have you ever in your life ditched a day of class? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like a few times, no. I didn't think so. But um, I noticed that you weren't in school today or yesterday, so I just want to see mm, how you were. No, you don't. I mean, I just I wanted to see if maybe you talked to anyone about this, like maybe your no. mom or... No, my mom happens to be in the boonies with my aunt who's dying of ovarian cancer, so... You know, there's bigger things going on. <clears throat> Yeah, well. I mean, there, there's got to be someone that you can tell about this. No. So, I mean, like, like yeah, some kind of... Landry, there's no one! Hey, Tara. Look, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it is, sweetheart. Tara, I'm, I'm sorry about... You know what? I never should have trusted you. But Tara... You know what you are? You are just a pathetic, smelly geek. And I never want you to talk to me again. Listen, um, <clears throat> about the other day, what happened? What other day? Okay, cut me a break here. I'm not very good at this. I'm sorry about what I said. There's not that big of a deal. I mean, I, mean, I don't think you're a geek. No, just a pathetic and uh, I don't have any friends. Okay, I don't think those things either. I was just pissed because... You know, Did you think that I, that I really wanted to tell someone, Tyra? I know why you did. I was just feeling burned about everything that happened, and I took it out on you. I'm trying to be better. A lot of things. Well, so I guess that explains why I'm getting back with Riggins, then. What? I'm not back together with Riggins. So you say no, that. No, I'm just here as his friend. Right, right. You say that now, but then you know what about that? What about the after party when all the beer starts flowing and you know Riggins comes in with this cute but tragic Texas Forever routine? What about then? Okay, Tim and I are just friends, Landry. Okay, you know what? I know this whole thing is none of my business because you're a big girl and you can do whatever you want. But but do you really want to spend the rest of your life with someone that, that that cheats on you and who drinks all the time? Who's just gonna end up working at a gas station and you know puking all of his paycheck up? Is that what you want? You know, he's going to cheat on you some more, and then you're going to have a few of his not-so-biologically gifted kids. Are, are you trying to make me take back my apology right now? Because it's working. You know, I'm sorry. But for some reason, I really just think that there's a guy out there that'll show up sober, that'll listen to you whenever you talk, and that, that, that'll actually, you know, respect your opinions and actually take care of you and actually recognize you for the smart and beautiful and caring woman that you are, Tyra. You know, guy, that guy. There yep. she is. What's going on, Lando? How are you? Gonna come out yeah. for a few or what? Hey, Landry. Hey. So it's good to see that you, uh, you know, you're out of the house and everything. Thank you, Dr. Floyd. Well, I mean, I just meant. Look, it goes against my basic principle to go to this game. But um, Tim gave me his player's tickets, and it seemed pretty important to him that I go. So you want to drive with me to state? I mean, the seats are on the 50-yard line, so I mean, it might be fun. It's so just go with you to Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Cool. All right. See you later then. Okay. 
I just don't understand why you can't just put grandma in the back of your car. Hey, can uh, can you come over here and try this? All you need. Okay. Well. Well, what? The cocoa bean and the chocolate, among many other things, is known aphrodisiac. Point is, Tyra and yours truly are going to be driving in a car alone for four straight hours. I'm gonna be playing some sexy crucifixorias, and we're gonna be eating on these very fine, delicate, erotic chocolates. And this is this may be the single most defining moment of my life, so you may need to tell your grandma to take the damn bus. Hey, Mindy. How's the stripping going? Mama, let's go. Our ride's here. Oh, hey. Um, I'm probably gonna be riding up front with you because I get a little car sick. Okay, grab this one. There's another one over there. It turns out that I got four tickets instead of two, so I hope you don't mind that my mom insists, you know, tag along. There's more, more bags inside. Okay, that's no problem. God, these are incredible. Mm. Have you tried these? I have. I'm really, I'm really glad that you're enjoying them, though. I don't know what's in these things, but I just feel sort of tingly all over. <laughs> I'm a little premenstrual too, so I know I'm hogging them, everybody. But I'll, I'll pass it around in a minute. Is that Miss, is that Miss Harrison? What are you doing? Hold on, Miss Harrison. You need a ride. It's mighty nice. Have you y'all got room for me? Hey, Lorraine. My lord. Is that Tyra? It sure is. Oh, <laughs> did you bring the booze? <laughs>